Park Industries web video, Titan Tool Setup, Part 1. To continue, you must have a working knowledge of the Titan with the tools measured and in the proper rack positions. The values must be entered into the tool library. You must also have pods and scrap material available. Place the pods on the table towards the front of the machine. Place the material on the pods, ensuring there is enough overhang on the left side for tool clearance. On the main screen of the controller, turn on the main vacuum and then the float. Also turn on the laser light if you have one available. If not, use a pointer tool for the following steps instead. Move the y-axis of the machine back and forth, adjusting the stone as needed until the stone seems fairly square with the machine. On the main screen, turn off the float so the material is held down firmly. Then press the digitize part button. Choose the start digitizing button and then to run the tool on the left side of the material. Now press the button to open the pendant screen. The line we are digitizing starts at the front left corner of the material. At this time, press line on the pendant screen. The coordinates of this base position will be displayed in the command window. Next we need to move the machine into a safe position for the cutter to lower and activate. To do this we'll choose incremental mode, type a value in for the distance, and choose the direction we need the machine to travel. The machine should move in that direction by the specified amount. We can then capture this coordinate by pressing line and then turn the cutter on. Now physically move the y-axis until the crosshairs end up in the back left corner of the material. Press the line button to capture this point. Now we'll move the machine past the edge of the part so we can safely retract the cutter and turn it off. To do this we'll choose incremental mode type a value in for the distance, and choose the direction we need the machine to trap. The machine should physically move in that direction and that amount. Now we can press the line button on the digitize screen to capture that point. This is also the position where we can turn the cut off. Verify in the command window that you start with the base position, line, cut on, line, line, cut off. Close the screen pendant window and choose Done Digitizing. Enter a file name and press OK to save it. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.